Greetings, lords and ladies. This is Sir Toxalot. I want to thank you for joining me as we play Super Mario Galaxy. In this episode, we are going to be doing the Bowser Jr. Uh, boss fight, the final Bowser fight besides the, you know, the main final finale one. And a little comment right here in the Toy Time Galaxy. You know, it's just a little small one, and it's a fast foe comment, which is interesting, because I think these are the rarest comments in the game. I mean, Daredevils are kind of common, and then... Cosmic ones are pretty common. Like, they're not divided up the most even, but still. Fast foes of toy time. So yes, guys, we're going to be going back to this good old planet. And we are going to be activating all these switches again. But these guys are now sped up and as fast as ever. Why does it seem like whenever a comet is fast foes, it will always have these guys? I get it. They crush everything they touch stuff, but it just seems like insta-kill obstacles are always what the fast foe comets are on. It's weird. So, get us under. Yeah, I'm not really worried about this too much. I mean, it'll kind of stink that we have to be shard and all, but I'm not really too bad about it. Does this robot say the same thing? Let's see what he says. Going over there, maybe you could jump. Yeah, we could jump, but I gotta activate that, that little question mark over there first. So, these guys are going to macho speed. Uh, collect all those. Uh, yep, out of the way, out of the way. Now we gotta hop all the, all the way up here. Yeah, thankfully, this is, this is, this mission actually looks really huge, but it actually is kind of short. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, those hot ones actually do move kind of fast. Yeah, that's probably, like, the only kind of scary part of the mission is that these platforms move actually kind of fast. They, they move reasonably fast. And I'm probably about to die. Mario. There we go. It's just because of the weird gravity. I can't really do it. So, come on. Uh, there we go. Dodge that. Now we're going to make our way back because I think we missed one of the question mark things. Yes, we did. Whoa, dodge that. And there is a pipe right there. That will actually take you back, I think. And, oh my gosh, I'm getting a little nervous right now. Okay, stops right there. And now we gotta make it to the middle, simply because that's like the safe zone. And is this the final one? Okay, it isn't. I think we missed one somewhere. So you can keep going. And, okay, there is another row of these platforms. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yep, there we go. Okay, that gravity is really weird. And yes, we got it. We got the power star. And look at that, it spawned right near us as well. So, yeah, up for it, and yeah! Beat that Toy Time Galaxy. I'm sure you're an awesome galaxy, but beat that Comet. Those Comets, they they try to be a challenge, but we are beating them. Like, I don't, I don't even know, like wallpaper or something. Yeah. So that was the Comet Star of Toy Titan Galaxy, and now we're going to be moving on to the Bowser Jr. level. And in all quite honesty, this is my least favorite Bowser Jr. level in the game. It's because I really don't find the boss fight. I mean, it's not a bad one or anything, it's just not very creative from what we've seen recently. It's actually just a boss redo that isn't even a Bowser Jr. like robot or anything. So King Caliente's spicy return. Do you remember that octopus guy we saw in, like, Good Egg Galaxy is on the third star? Well, we're gonna have to fight him again. And I'm honestly pretty sad because... I mean, sure, it's more difficult and all, but... I, I, I don't know. I just I just wanted to mention that real quickly. That's, that's just a little something I noticed when I first did this level. So, it actually starts out like the Mega Legs fight. You have to lure the Bullet Bill into the, into the cage. There are these little Goombas who will try to stop you, but... They aren't really aren't too bad. So you continue making your way, like, all the way over here. There are a lot of small platforms, though, so be careful of that. So now we made our way over here. You just continue long jumping and stuff, and you'll eventually reach the Bullet Bill Maker. <laughs> just like Mario Maker. Let's spin into him. And, okay. Bullet Bill coming. There's some spicy Mario you can get right here. Yeah, there is some star bits actually it's hot. So there we go. He's on the he's on the run. He's going after us. He's mad. He's fiery. He's 
spicy as sarsaparilla nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's some weird saying I just started saying after a while. I don't know why I say it. It's just for fun. So, oh my gosh, we make it. We, come on, we made it. Yes, we made it. Okay. So now we can move on to the next section, which is just like hopping across lava, kind of getting used to these platforms right here. Which they do sink relatively quickly. I mean, it isn't really that bad. It's just kind of fast. And there's these little blue ball things. I don't know what they're called. There's the octopus guys. I'm gonna get you, octopi. Yeah. There we go. Double shot, beat them. So then there's launch start, and we're gonna be launching to the final planet and the boss battle of this so-called galaxy. I mean, it really isn't that big. It's just a planet. But so. Anyway, there's Bowser Jr. And what's he got to say? If I give up any more Power Stars, my dad's gonna get mad! So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him heat, King Caliente. Why Bowser Jr. teamed up with King Caliente? I don't know. An octopus and a turtle. I, I don't know if... That, that's one of the weirdest combo animal team-ups in history. Especially when this is a fire-breathing... Uh, this is a lava fire-breathing... King Kelly, the King Octopus, and a little kid of a turtle who conquers Gal. I, you know, I, I'm not even gonna question it. This is Mario logic. What do you expect, guys? So unlike the first time, the second hit will make him spawn these little blue things. Unlike the third hit on the previous fight. But there we go. We knocked him. Got his crown off. And now what'll actually happen is meteors will start raining down everywhere. And he's trying to go after us, and he's summoning a whole bunch of these blue little speck things. But boom, got the first coconut. And tennis are playing. We're playing Mario Tennis, guys. And I got the finishing blow. Beat that, King Caliente. If you, if you came back on an ice planet, even that couldn't beat us. I think that actually be a pretty cool boss fight, like him on an ice planet. I'm not like a, as a Bowser Jr. fight, but it's really pretty cool. So as you can see, uh, these platforms no longer sink or anything. And the, all the little blue guys are gone. So we got the fifth grand star. That is awesome, guys. And we're going to be unlocking the final world. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped the We're going to be unlocking the final world in this game. I dropped the because I'm just really excited. You know what I mean? Because I think we've come a long way from the first episode. We're more than halfway through the game, and we've come a pretty long way. We're all connected now. So there we go, the ball's now really shining bright. That, that looks crazy. And even though our star count already reached zero, we still have one more world to explore. The Garden. This is the hardest world in the game. And it doesn't actually have a Bowser fight, surprisingly. Just to say right now, if you guys were excited for that. Although, the Bowser fight would technically be the, the star, the 70 star. Or the 60 star one. So we already have all of the galaxies in the in the garden unlocked because simply because of how well we've been doing in this game. Uh, the, the, I think we we've been doing really well. So I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. It was a really short video, and that's perfectly okay. We need some short videos sometimes after these really long ones. Please leave a like and be sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And and guys, just keep the likes and subscribes rolling. Fare thee well.